Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, Molly pouch, something crazy, I know, something very unconventional. But this is the Millspec Monkey Stealth Admin slash Utility. Had this for a little while now, been, you know, uh, taking my time examining it, taking a closer look. So what we can do there is get a close in look at it, look at how it's put together, all the features, all the stuff you can put in it, and uh, just generally give you a good rundown, get a nice closer in view, and show the sort of the, what the intended uses are for it. So I'm going to take it off my rig here. I'm going to put it down, move the camera around, get a bit, get that bit of a close in look, and uh, and see what it's all about basically. Okay, then. So we'll start on the uh, the real simple stuff on the outside, and we'll work our way inwards. So right straight on the front, first thing you got is a good area of loop velcro. You can get plenty of morale patches on there, name tapes, blood types, whatever it is you need to get on. Good amount of room on here for that. On the back, you got your attachment. It does come with two long malice clips, color matched, which is all you're going to need to attach it on. You just thread one through, like so, and then you weave it between your, your PALS compatible platform and the pouch, like so, just as you would pretty much any other Molly pouch. Construction materials wise, uh, it's, it's primarily a thousand denier cordura, that's the main body of it, uh, but they've also used a, a lot of five denier, 500 denier sorry, throughout, which cuts down on weight just a little bit, which is always nice. Stitching is all really, really well done. So what you can see there, they've got double or even triple stitching on that, those key stress points, key areas for the mounting, um, all, the, all the zips, all the thread, all the... Uh, all the cordura, all the webbing, mill spec throughout, top quality stuff. Obviously, this is a multicam version, so they've used the, the cry precision fabric. Got a nice drainage grommet there for when it does get full of water and sand and crap, it's all going to drain out for you. Don't want that sort of stuff just sitting in the bottom. Uh, on the sides, you do have these two, two loops, which are handy just for sticking uh, pens, knives, that sort of thing, just inside for quick access, or you can even attach something like a pistol mag pouch onto the side there. The main compartment just has a, a zip along the top here. It's got two zips, but I've tucked one out of the way. Just I find that's a little bit more of a, a bit more a clean, simple solution and slightly less snagging. So you open up the main compartment and you've got a lot of, a lot of storage options in here. Um, along the back edge, you've got a pocket, good size, and then it's got a, uh, one large elastic loop, and then one slightly smaller just here. A bit tricky to show you. There's your, there's your label there. Good thing I like about these is they are designed by Millspec Monkey, who, uh, who always do. I mean, I, I like to review their stuff because they spend a lot more time really going into the, the nitty gritty, the little details when they design any sort of tactical gear. They don't make a lot of stuff, but what they do make is very good, which is what I prefer to see. Produced by Tactical Tailor in the US. Top quality materials, top quality workmanship, really can't knock it in that sense. Then uh, on this front edge of the uh, the main compartment, you've got a small, medium, and then another small elastic loop. And then in a sort of mirror to the uh, to the back, you've got a large loop below that, and then another small one just uh, right down in there. And what that really allows you is to, um, it gives you a wide variety, you know, if you've got different size objects, different positions, how exactly you want to stow them away uh, to prevent them actually bouncing and rattling on around inside the pouch. You've got a good amount of options there. As you can see, it's all really nicely done, all lined, you know, uh, all the, everything's all colour matched, all that sort of stuff, as you'd expect with a, with a sort of high-end item. Now, in that main compartment, you can actually fit just one uh, 30 round 556 five, magazine if you put it on the diagonal. It's a close fit. As you can see, it does go in there without any problems. So that's a, that's a Lancer translucent magazine just there. Fits in the main compartment just fine if, if you wanted to maybe uh, carry a magazine in a bit more of a uh, less conspicuous fashion, shall we say. Bit easier to show you the front compartment here. Again, you've got two zips, so you can sort of get this drawbridge effect going on. 
on the on the side close to your body. You've got another nice little storage bin, which is good for. So I've got a nice old school NATO first field dressing here. That fits in there absolutely perfectly. Three more elastic loops. And uh, then you've got this transparency. Now obviously this is going to be for your maps, orders, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you're not necessarily always going to want that depending on what your usages are. So if you don't want to use it, it's velcro on. You've got a loop in there, hook on there. Take the whole section out. Chuck that away if you don't want it. Obviously, you know, retain it for later. But then, uh, when you do need it, it's as simple as pressing it back in, and there it is, ready to fold it out again when you want it. Just uh, nothing, nothing complex about that one. On on the very outside, farthest away from your body, you've got another sort of a stowage pouch area, and then you've got some horizontal elastic loops. Whereas all the other ones so far are in vertical. This one gives you the option. To Put things in there in sideways like that. So, for example, it's the chem light, silum, infrared, or, or visible light, whichever it is you're using. That is just the right size for that. Works really nicely. Pens is obviously going to be another big one. Um, when you look back on, on the inside slightly further, you've got these loops are actually a really good size for a pistol mag. That that fits absolutely bang on. Or uh, got, got my Spyderco here. You just fit in whatever it is you, you need. Say I don't want the transparency, but this is the kit I want to carry. And then grab the zips. So I leave it a bit tall, but there you go. Good thing about this is it can actually it can compact very thin, but then it can also it can also get quite a lot wider. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, compressibility in this. When there's nothing in it, it will go nice and flat against your against your vest or your chest rig or whatever it is you're wearing. When you do fill it out with stuff, it will open up and give you a good amount of room inside. Let's open it up again, take the kit out. Hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate, demonstrate that a bit clearer. Put the transparency back in. So there we go, that's, it can go as thin as that, and yet you know, I mean, it can expand out all the way, get a good depth, get a good amount of equipment in there. All those, all those little bits of first aid kit, administration, navigation, all that kind of thing. My only slight criticism would be I think these paracord loops are a bit too long as standard when they come. Um, but the thing is, if you're operating in a in a particularly cold environment, you're gonna your hands are gonna be. Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there will know firsthand from um, spending a lot of time out in the cold that your hands just don't work as well. And having something large like that to grab onto to get at important stuff can be a real lifesaver. When you add um, thick gloves, really heavy gloves into the equation, even more so. I would rather they came too long. And then you can just obviously you just grab yourself a knife, pair of scissors, uh, and a lighter to to seal off the ends, and you just shorten them down yourself. And that's a much better option than having to make up new ones. Okay, guys. So I have reattached the stealth admin slash utility pouch back into my chest rig here. I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the world of malice clips. I think if anyone out there has ever tried to attach a, a HSGI taco pouch onto any sort of rig, you will probably empathize with me in terms of that sort of thing. But, you know, that aside, they do work. They set, you know, they're effective uh, and they're robust. So in terms of holding your pouch in place, they do do their job. That, that's just a fact. In terms of accessing the pouch while it's attached onto, onto your person on whatever plate carrier or whatever it is you're using, it does work extremely well. Just grab your zips like that. And you've got your sort of drawbridge if you want that transparency, if you want quick access to your maps, your, um, quick reference, uh, you know, comm sheets when it comes to any sort of sit reps or, you know, I discovered IEDs, whatever the hell it is, you've got a radio in, medivacs, contacts, all that sort of stuff, nice and quick into there, and then in the main compartment again, just straight in there, nice and easy. And really uh, no hassles at all and as much as I do think these 
paracord loops and zips are a tad long than they might want to be, they're certainly easy to grab hold of. And it does make access, you know, ingress into the pouch nice and quick, nice and easy. And depending on what you have stored in here, and it could be a medical pouch, for example, so you, know, you could put a, you know, a Velcro um, patch to denote that on the front, then you might need to get in here very quick. So, you know, there's ups and downs to everything. Now there's currently three slightly different versions available. There's the Monkey Combat Admin pouch, which basically is all Velcro flaps, so it's a bit louder than this. This, uh, this is the Stealth Admin Utility. This uses the zips instead of Velcro, similar overall layout. It's got you know the main compartment and then an extra one at the front. Basically the same size, just using zips instead of Velcro, as I say. And then they've got, uh, just recently they've come out with a slightly smaller version of this, which is a, a couple of columns of PALS webbing narrower. So if you, um, pretty much an ideal size for something like a smartphone or a GPS, uh, but very similar construction and sort of overall design philosophy. Now you can get the Stealth Admin Utility. Obviously, we've got the Multicam here. The UCP is listed on the website, but obviously uh, uh, US Army new camo is, well, it should be imminent. So if it is still available, uh, it's probably going soon. Then you've got your, your standard colors, your coyote, your olive drab, foliage, and black. I'll put a link down in the description below to the Mill Spec Monkey website where you can look at the product, check it out, maybe pick one up if you want it. Uh, any questions about the pouch, please do feel free to ask me guys. That's what the comments are for. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.